Hello everyone, this is Ruchi Arya. Today we are going to discuss about the subject matter of requirement of copyright. The aim of this lecture is to familiarize you what constitutes copyrightable subject matter. So, so let's start with what is copyright. Copyright it is a right which grants protection to the unique expression of ideas. This right is given by the law to the creators of literary works, artistic works, dramatic works, musical works, etc. Copyright is not a perpetual right. It exists for a specific term. It grants the creator of an original work an exclusive right to its use and distribution and gives protection from unauthorized use. It may also specify who may use or copy such works and how and when it can be done. The purpose of the work also does not matter for copyright. The Copyright Act 1957 along with the Copyright Rules 1958 is the governing law for copyright protection in India. Copyright laws protect the legal rights of the creator of an original work by preventing others from reproducing the work in any other way. What does copyright protect? Copyright protect literary works, dramatic works, musical works, graphic works such as photographs and paintings, other artworks, audiovisual works, sound recordings, database, software, TV programs and what is not covered by copyright is ideas, facts, recipes, works lacking originality for example the phone book or names, titles or short phrases. Originality is the essence of copyright. The term original in the copyright law means that the work originated with the author. There is no requirement for novelty or uniqueness as there is in patent law. But the work must be original and it must be originated with the author. Reproduction of someone else work cannot be protected by copyright. Copyright law protects the expression of an idea, not the idea itself. Modern copyright laws serve to protect a variety of intellectual property ranging from songs and jingles to computer software and proprietary database. The intellectual property protected under copyright laws can be classified in literary works. Literary works, these covers published works including books, articles, journals and periodicals as well as manuscripts. Even adaptations, translations and abridgments are taken as original works and are protected under copyright law. Very importantly, these also cover computer programs and computer database. And uh, if you talk about dramatic works, is a work capable of being physically performed. It need not be fixed in writing or otherwise. Some examples of dramatic works like a piece of recitation, choreographic work, elements of a dance or ballet, costumes and scenery associated with drama etc and if we talk about musical works a musical work means a work consisting of music and it includes graphical notation of such a work the words in a song and the music have separate rights and the right cannot be merged it means the song the words and the music we can get that right now move to the artistic works Artistic works are works such as paintings, sculptures, drawings, engravings, photographs and architectural works irrespective of judgments on their artistic quality. Now the cinematographic films and sound recordings also protected under copyright act. It covers any method used to record moving Im images including video recordings and recordings of short clips using webcams and cell phones, soundtracks of movies also come under cinematography. Similarly, 
standalone sound recordings are also protected under copyright law though the indian copyright act provides for a procedure for registration of copyright although registration is not necessary for acquiring a copyright in fact it is not advisable to go through the trouble of registering a copyright in indian laws a copyright is created when the original work is created and unlike laws in the us registering it does not confer any special right the particulars with the registrar of copyrights will serve only as evidence of existence of the work on the date of registration now the duration of copyright as we have discussed that these rights are not perpetual in nature all these rights are fixed for a particular period of time in most cases the term of copyright is the lifetime of the author plus 60 years thereafter there are some notable exceptions as given like the term of broadcasting organization has the right with respect to their broadcast the term of this right is 25 years from the beginning of the calendar year following the year in which the broadcast is made and performers have some special rights in relation to their performances these rights are for a period of 50 years from the beginning of the calendar year following the year of the first performance It means 50 years for films and sound recordings 25 years for typographical arrangements of a published editions it is here it is important to note that copyright protection always expires on december 31st of the last calendar year of protection now how much you can use is also important to know that like in case of photos and images up to 5 works from one author or we can say up to 10% or one works whichever is less from a collection this is uh, for photos and images and for database information up to 10% or 2500 fields or cell entries whichever is less can be used and in case of copyright protection for computer programs owners of computer programs get protection under copyright laws a computer program can be registered with the registrar of copyrights by giving the first 25 and the last 25 lines of the source code here again it is preferred to establish date of developments by submitting log bo- logbooks detailing development work etc now there are few basic concepts of copyright protection idea versus expression it is necessary to fix the boundary between the idea and the expression contained in the original work it is important to note that copyright applies only to the expression and not to the idea but what constitutes the idea and not the expression can be a source of great legal debate the original expression is to be fixed in a tangible medium now to get protection under copyright laws it is also important to establish that the work originates from the author and is not a copied work it is to be written or printed or recorded on a cd or dvd or it is it must be stored in a computer hard drive whatever ways it may be but it must be in some form copyright protection is automatic in that it comes into existence as soon as a work is created and no formality is required to be completed for acquiring copyright that is it need not to be registered but registration is very useful when legal issues arises now the fixation copyright can exists only if the work is present represented in a material form it is only if the book is written the sound is recorded or the painting or sculpture is is, is executed that the work is eligible for protection under copyright laws what is fair use copyright holders are deemed to consent to fair use of their work by others fair use is not defined but can include use in the course of news reporting commenting scientific research etc so it can be 
used it gives the permission to use this copyrighted material but if certain criteria are met we cannot say that uh, all the material can be copyrighted one can copyright that material or any material but there is a limit how much any material can be copyrighted what can be copyrighted and the consent of the you know, copyright holder to fair use of their work by others is necessary it cannot be defined what is the fair use but it can include use in the course of like news reporting it fair use it protects the freedom of speech and it promotes public benefits like education for education purpose uh, this uh, any matter or anything can be copyright for the public benefit for the fair use uh, we can say this is for the fair use of this copyright material for the benefit of education for the promotion of education with the consent of the author now what constitutes infringement a copyright is infringed when someone without the permission of the copyright holder which only the copyright holder has the exclusive right to do it means if uh, the creator of a work can prohibit anyone from reproducing the work in any form such as print sound video etc without the permission of the owner or recording the work in compact discs cassettes etc an identical or substantial similar reproduction is also covered under the infringement or we can say broadcasting it in any form translating it into other languages and using the work for a public performance such as a stage drama or musical performance the copyright act provides for both civil and criminal remedies for infringement of copyrights on proving an infringement the copyright owner is entitled to remedy by way of injunctions an order for seizure and destruction of infringing articles the offending parties may also be asked to pay damages the registrar of copyrights has the power to prevent the import of infringing copies on receiving a complaint the registrar can enter ship stock ships docks or warehouses housing the alleged infringing material and examine them in in case the infringing material is found it is handed over to the copyright holder so with this i would like to wind up our today's discussion and with this i hope you guys are able to understand what the basic concept or what the subject uh, matter is required for copyright why what is copyright why it is important what are the protections given by the law to the holders of uh, copyright how it is infringed and what are the remedies that remedies are available in both civil and criminal law how you can uh, use how you can uh, make other to use your copyrighted materials and what is the need of this copyright it is needed uh, although it is not need to be registered but why it is needed because of you know in future if there is any legal issue arises then uh, your uh, registration of copyright is needed and so on with this i hope you guys are able to understand what actually copyright is with this here i would like to wind up and thanks a lot for watching this